Today we're going to discuss how to answer comprehension in Afrikaans. Now there's different ways of doing this, so we'll just stick to one method for today. It is always good to read the title of the story first. This often gives you key information about the text. The title of this story is Peter se tweede dag by die school, Peter's second day at school, which tells you that the story is about a boy named Peter who is at school and it's his second day. You might not always get images with the text, but if you do, then have a look and see if you can tell what the text is about. In this case, you can see some children in the classroom, so we can assume that this story is something about school or friends and bullying if you have a look at the last image. Now before you get going with the text, read the questions first and highlight the key words. This will save you time when reading the text by looking for and focusing on the key words. Once you have highlighted the key words in the questions, skim through the text and look for the same key words. This will help you save time when finding the answers. Usually the test is set up so that even if you only answer the easier questions, you should still pass. But don't aim for this. Always give it your best and try every question. Once you have answered all the easy questions, you can now take your time and answer the more challenging questions. You might need to go back and read the story again to find these answers. Sometimes you won't find the answers in the text because your teacher wants you to give your own answer. There are some tips you need to remember when answering comprehensions. Tip 1. Generally, questions are asked in the order of the text. Another important tip to remember is tip 2. Mark allocations indicate the number of facts you need. If there are two marks, that means you need to give two facts. Many students forget tip 3. Sometimes you'll find the answer in the previous question or in the following question as well. Remember to always answer in full sentences. You can do this by using the words in the question to begin your answer. Here is an example. This is the question. Num twee dinge wat Peter onthou het. We will use the words twee dinge wat Peter onthou het and put it into the answer. So we'll start. Twee dinge wat Peter onthou het is a penisaki in boeke. There are different techniques of answering questions to a comprehension. However, if you follow this formula and practice every day, you should do well and get the hang of it.